All right, so tonight I'm using the leftover chicken, if you remember, to make something different, and I'm doing the classic Chopped, my favorite Food Network show, uh, thing to do with when you have a bunch of ingredients that you need to use, they throw it all in a blender, and then you make something with it. And then with our blended meat concoction that we're gonna make, mine's gonna be like chicken, feta, parsley, stuff I used from last night, and you just blend it all together, and oftentimes on like Chopped or something, you could make it into meatballs, Obviously, I'm stuffing it okay, in. This is from my dad's garden, and I just cut into what I thought was a large zucchini, and it's some other form of squash. It kind of smells like a butternut squash. I'm going to use it anyway. I'm going to scoop it out, I'm going to bake it, and then I'm going to cut some of the flesh and put it into the blender. Just realize some of you might need to see how to scoop a squash out. You just kind of take a spoon and scoop it all out until it looks like this, and take the seeds out as well, like carving a pumpkin. And you could use any, I was just expecting a zucchini. So this ground chicken stuffed squash is gonna need some sort of like sauce, I was thinking. So instead of using my garbanzo beans, I got them two for one, so I have another can of garbanzo beans left over from last night. Instead of using them in the blended chicken mixture, I'm gonna make a term for this is probably like a chickpea puree, since I'm not using like tahini, but anyways, I got my chickpeas, I got a good amount of garlic, I'm gonna do two lemons, salt, and olive oil. Correction, I'm doing one lemon two lemon halves. These are really juicy, so that's good enough. And then a good amount of salt, olive oil, and we'll blend this okay, up. So this is all done. It looks and tastes like hummus. Um, it's really good. I'm gonna set it aside in a bowl here. Oh, you can't see, sorry. And then I'm gonna make the chicken concoction in the same thing, because it can have some of the garbanzo. So as you can see, I purposely left a lot of that in there because I want the flavor to go with it. That's why I made the hummus first. Um, vice versa, it would not have worked out as well, the chicken flavor and the hummus. And of course you could clean it twice, but who wants to do that? And look, I'm pulling chicken, guys. This is how All it's right, done. to the chicken mixture, and it's half the rotisserie chicken with a lot of the skin too, because that's good for flavor. I'm adding just like a bunch of parsley. I'm adding the rest of the feta. Okay, then I'm adding a scoop of garlic. Good amount of garlic. Some good salt. And a drizzle of olive oil. And then when I take that squash out, I'll add the some squash of is finally out. It is hot as balls. I'm scooping it, just kind of like I did earlier, and putting it in here. And then we're gonna blend it all. You don't have to scoop it all. It doesn't really matter. Just get some. All right, so I blended it. It looks like this, mmm. And I'm gonna scoop it into here, and then we're gonna bake it again, finish it off. Tastes really good. 